Nathan Yokely is a guy the Brookwood football team has come to count on in all three phases of the game. He's also a guy you can count on on the soccer pitch, on the basketball court, and in the classroom. Nathan is this week's ABC 27 Scholar Athlete of the Week. Brookwood head football coach Shane Boggs has had his eyes on senior Nathan Yokely for a long time. We have a fifth and sixth grade team and in and, uh, and, and middle school and then now at the varsity level. From fifth grade to his senior year, Nathan's been a force on the football field. I've never had a guy do all the things he's done. In every phase of the game. It's exciting. It's something I look forward to every week. Um, just in the locker room with all my teammates, getting hyped with the music on. Just ready to go out to battle. It's fun. It's a battle he's thankful to fight. As a multi-sport athlete, Nathan's junior year of soccer was ripped from him thanks to COVID-19, which makes his final football season a little more special. I'm going to put 100% in each game, knowing that that might be taken away from me. Physically, he's a very, very different player. He was always a great athlete, but if you just look at him right now, he's, he's worked so hard in the weight room and just he's, he's faster, he's bigger, he's stronger. And uh, so I, I think all of us probably appreciate it more just based on losing several months. Through the adversity, Nathan's continued to shine in the classroom. He has a 4.0 GPA. Some nights it's really hard to like keep up with the work, but I'd rather be playing sports and doing the work at the same time just to like balance it out, I guess. A balance Nathan has perfected and wouldn't want any other way. I like being busy. I just love to play sports. Sports that love to have Nathan playing for them. Nathan said he hasn't given up on the idea of playing football at the next level, but he said no matter where he ends up, he wants to study business. College football returning to the Big Ten. The conference presidents and chancellors met on Wednesday and voted unanimously to resume play after considering new medical information and testing possibilities. Teams will play eight games apiece and games will start the weekend of October 24th. The conference announced they will provide updates on other fall sports soon. In Tallahassee, Allison Posey, ABC 27.